Hello, my name is Holly. Today I'm so excited because I'm going to be playing with some glitter. I've got some new items to try and I love glitter so yeah. So I got some new things at Target. Um, you know when there's like new stuff like how do you walk you can't like walk by and not like look at the new stuff you know so um, this is a new brand I guess. I've never seen it before um, so it's I couldn't find anything on it online, so I don't know if it's like a Target brand. It does it. It just says distributed by Supply Beauty LLC. I don't know. I couldn't find anything else on it. It's called Starlet Studio. Most of the stuff they have is like glitter. So this is their cream shadow disc in the shade Sigma, and then this is the Prisma Pout Holographic Lip Gloss in the shade Lucid. And then I found this. I've never tried Makeup Obsession. I've never tried that brand before. Makeup Obsession London. This is the Mega Lightning Highlighter Illuminator. Um, and it's in the shade... It does say it's cruelty-free and vegan. I don't understand what this shade is. Anyway, and then I also picked this up. This was on sale for like $2 at Target. It's the CIA, or CAI, <laughs> this is the CAI, is it Kai? Do you say that? Uh, All That Shimmers Body Glitter. This is the roll-on shimmer. I almost opened it, just played with it. Okay. Restraint is hard. And then of course today I have my glitter it's from NYX. Um... These are the best face glitters. Oh my gosh, that's almost empty. I gotta go get more. These things last forever. So I think I'm gonna do like a pink and purple glitter thing today and use my um, NYX Liquid Crystal Liner. So let's go ahead and open this up because I just can't wait anymore. So it's super pretty. So that's the glitter on top. I'm just going to stick my finger now on it and see if it's glitter all the way through. Okay, it's definitely not. It's definitely a spray-on um, overcoat. For, like, the price that I paid for that, I'm kind of surprised that it wasn't glitter all the way through. It just looks, feels like waxy, cheap lip gloss. So I already have my foundation on, so I'm going to go ahead and do this highlighter. Just It was just taped. Hold on. Hold on. This is the Mega Lightning Highlighter. I, could... I literally just opened it and it did this. What the heck? Look, it came like separated from the rest of it. It just, just crumbled all over me. This is a freaking joke. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I wasn't even being rough with it or anything. This is a mess. There's highlighter everywhere. Oh my gosh, guess I'll be vacuuming today. <sighs> okay, I guess we'll go ahead and try it out. It's crumbling. I'm going to use this small domed brush from Morphe, and I'm just going to get super precise today. Look at it. Blech. Like, what the crap? Here we go. It's pretty. It's very like muted, I would say. It's not like shining bright, like um, blinding or anything. But if you like more of a muted thing, I'm more of a like, oh look, she's wearing highlighter. That's so freaking bright type of girl. But if you like it more um, natural, muted looking, this is very pretty. It's not blending super well. But it's not awful either. For the price point, it's not bad. If you were going to go with something for the same price, I would just go and go with the Wet n Wild um, highlighters. They're just as good and probably won't shatter any. I'm going to go and get started with my eyes. I'm going to spray my face with the NYX Matte Finish um, Setting Spray. Okay, I'm going to take my Morphe M321 brush. I'm going to go into my Shauna XO, the Remix Palette, and my favorite color, you know, 
Lover Purple down here at the bottom. I'm going to go in the center of my lid and just pack that in. Like, look how pigmented that color is. That's amazing. And I tapped my brush off. Alright, I'm going to take my Fluffy brush and blend it out a little bit. Okay, now I have no idea what this shade is called, but this is um, a little pan from Ofra. It's just a really pretty blue. It's kind of shimmery, metallic looking, but not too much, just enough. I'm going to put that right over the purple. Okay, I'm going to take this shade from Ofra. It's just a pinky color. It's kind of a purpley. I'm going to take the same brush, the Morphe M321, and I'm going to go right in the corner, inner corner of my eye here. Okay, that shade's really not bright enough, so I'm going to go in with Baby Girl here in Sean XO. This is more of like a bright, bright, bright Barbie pink. Okay, I know I'm jumping around a lot, but to, I'm going to go in with my Marbicorn Tongue Pot right here. It's a little bit more peachy than the um, Sean XO color. So I'm going to go on the outer corner of my eye with this. Look at that on the brush. Is that not beautiful? I'm going to go right under my eye with this. I'm going to bring it under my eye and then straight up. Just so we have that line, we know where we're, what we're aiming for. Alright, back in with the fluffy brush. All right, now I'm going to take my black eyeliner from Profusion. This is their liquid eyeliner, and I'm gonna line my top of my eyes. Line my top of my eyes. Okay, now I'm gonna take my Crystal Liquid Liner by NYX. This is in the shade Crystal Pink. I'm gonna go right along my eye on top of what I just did, um, but just on the bottom of it. Did that make any sense? Let me just show you, okay? Alright, I'm gonna spray my face with this NYX setting spray again. And I'm gonna go in with my Laura Geller Life Glows on. I'm gonna go in with this purple shade right here, Opal Crush.
Okay, now I'm going to go into Opal Crush. Nope, that one's called Diamond Dust right there. And I'm going to go under what I just did on my cheeks. Okay, one last thing with the highlighter. I'm going to go in with Honeymoon by ColourPop. You can tell I use this one a lot. The logo's worn off. And um, this one is so pretty. It's like white, shimmery, um, with like blue and purple specks in it. It's just so pretty. Especially on top of other highlighters. I love like adding it on top just to boost it. Um, because you can only see it when you hit a certain light. Um, and I want you to be able to see my highlight all the time. So I'll put something neutral underneath, just like Rodeo by Ofra, something like that underneath it, and then I'll put this on top so you can still see my highlighter, and then when I hit certain lights, you can see the specks from the color pop. Okay, no, we're still not done. I am now going to go in with my NYX glitter. This is whoop, this is in the shade 6. Hmm. Crystal is the shade. Um, so I'm going to use my NYX glitter primer. This is the best stuff ever. If you use this, your glitter is not going in anywhere. So I'm just going to grab a little brush that I don't really care about so I can put this primer on it. So it's just a nude color like that. Um, and it really goes on, it just really feels like a primer, like a thick primer, like a normal primer. And you just put it where you want your glitter to go and it will stick all day and all night, I promise. These glitters are very messy, so if you don't want glitter in your carpet or on your floors, put something down. But I just really don't care. I think glitter should be everywhere. Alright, here we go, folks. Okay, now I am going to go in with my ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Naughty 18C1. Okay, now I'm going to go over that with the Starlet Studio Gloss. And again, this is in the shade la 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 Lucid. Alright, here we go. I'm not really a gloss person just because my hair gets all in it and it drives me absolutely bananas. I'm having a hard time getting anything on the applicator here. Uh...
All right, this color is super pretty. I really like how the gloss feels. It's not like sticky or too much. I actually might wear the skin. It's really pretty. It does not match what I'm doing whatsoever though, so I'm going to show you something that I like to do. Um, if I'm just like not feeling a matte lip and I, I put something on that doesn't match, I will take whatever highlighter I'm wearing. So I'm going to use, I'm going to use this, um, Opal Crush one, uh, and I'm going to mix it with, but let's just use both. We'll use Diamond Dust and Opal Crush and just pat it on. You can do it on dry lips and it'll stay, or you can do it on wet lips. Now, how pretty is that? That totally matches. And it actually feels pretty soft on my lips. Cool beans. Let me put on some mascara. I'll be right back. Okay, I just want to prove to you how good this, um, what is it called? Um, the glitter primer from NYX is. So I'm just going to take this brush here and, um, I'm sorry, do you see anything moving? Because... It's not going anywhere. It is on there for good. Forever. Alright, so the last thing I have to try is this roll-on glitter, which looks super fun. So I am just going to go in. Ooh. That is really pretty. It's like an iridescent glitter. Let's just see if we can. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, I don't want to take off any more makeup. That is super shimmery. I enjoy that. This is probably for children, but no, I'm sure it's for like festivals and stuff, right? I'm gonna have glitter all over my body. I'll be back in about an hour. Fully glittered. <laughs> all right, I had so much fun doing this crazy look with you guys today. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, and I will see you back soon, next week. Bye! <laughs>